welcome to my channel today i'm going to explain the second lab program of first puc so let me zoom it first let me explain you the question as well as algorithm so write a c++ program to find area and circumference of a circle so you are going to write a program to find area as well as circumference of a circle so initially you need to know how to find area as well as circumference so you have two formulas to find area and circumference of a circle so first we are going to see the first formula area is equal to pi into r into r this is a formula to find area of a circle so area is equal to pi values 3.14 r is nothing but your radius and this r you are going to input the value using cn this is your first formula the next formula is circumference circumference is equal to 2 into pi into radius so pi value has you know 3.14 so 3 into 3.14 that is pi value into radius that is your r so these two formula is used to find the area as well as circumference so let me explain you the algorithm so algorithm has i said you radius you need to input the radius so the first line is input radius next one is to find the area area is equal to pi into r into r next is circumference so circumference is equal to 2 into 3.14 into radius last step output what will be the output you have calculated the area as well as circumference so that will be your output area as well as circumference so here circum is nothing but your variable then it is stop this is how the program goes first you need to input radius then you are going to write the formula then you are going to print the output the last step is stop same way in the algorithm also sorry in the flow chart also here you can see the start has well as stop so initially you have to start then it comes to the input input is radius so input radius then comes the two formulas then comes the output lastly it is stop so this is your flow chart the next step is writing a program so here you are going to write a program so initially you have to write the header files here i have mentioned three header files ash include iostream.h this is used because we have used c out and c in in your program the next one is ash include io manipulate.h this is used because whenever you use an endl as well as setw so in this program we have used endl so we need to write this particular header file the next one is ash include conio.h why this is used is you have used clr scr and get ch whenever you are writing clr scr and get ch you have to add a header file ash include conio.h whenever you are using endl as well as setw you are going to use this header file ash include io manipulate.h whenever you are using c out and c in in your program you are going to use the first header file io stream.h next comes the void main here you can see void main void is nothing but it's a null void main always the program starts from this particular main function this is a function main next is your declaration part so here you have to declare both the input value as well as the output so these declaration you are going to declare a variables it might be a input variable as well as output variables you are going to declare it in the first part inside the main so float radius area as well as circumference why this is float float is a data type 
why it is float why not it is int because in the formula you can see 3.14 so anything multiplied by the 3.14 whatever the value it might be 5 6 7 8 it might be anything the input whenever you multiply a variable with the point value you are going to get a point value so float is given here then comes the radius radius is your input area as well as circum is your output so all these three variable as declared in the first line inside the main function next comes the clr scr why the clr scr is used clr scr is nothing but your clear screen clear all the output on the output screen that is previous output whatever it's there inside the output screen previously that will be cleared you are going to get a fresh black screen that's why clr scr is used that is clear screen next comes the first part you are going to give an input in the algorithm also you can see you are going to input radius even in the flow chart you can see you are going to input the radius so first you are going to write c out enter the value of radius that will be the statement in the output screen next is c in radius this line takes the value for radius so whatever you give 5 6 7 8 anything you can give 5.3 5.4 6.3 6 thing might be the radius so these two lines you are going to input the value for radius next comes the formula part see this in the flow chart next it is a formula part so directly you are going to write the formula area is equal to pi into r into r that is 3.14 into radius into radius next comes the circumference so to calculate the circumference formula is circumference is equal to 2 into 3.14 into radius that is whatever the value after calculating it will be stored in circumference even in this formula also whatever it is calculated the final value will be stored in area so the final value of area as well as circumference is stored in this particular variable so now you need to print the value of area and circumference so to print the value you are going to use c out statement so c out area is equal to this area this variable this is a character whatever you write within the double quote that will be a character it will be printed same as it is on the output screen but this is your variable the final value is stored in this area so that you are going to mention it here the next is c out circumference is equal to even these are a characters that will be printed on the output screen this circum here is nothing but your calculated value will be printed here and then it comes to the next line get ch whenever you give a get ch it will be in the output screen itself once when you give the any if you press any character from the keyboard it comes to the blue screen so it waits this get ch waits for a character on the output screen so that you can see the output and finally closing the braces this closing braces will tell end of program so let us see the output so here you can see the output see this enter the radius the first line enter the radius c out enter the radius this c out statement will be printed in the first line so once when it is printed next it comes to c in radius so here it is waiting for the input c in is nothing but inputting the value so radius will be 5.5 so you are going to this will be entered from the keyboard by the user so you are going to enter 5.5 then area is equal to 3.14 into whatever the value you have given has a radius 5.5 into 5.5 into 5.5 after calculating the value will be 9.5.045 
then circumference is equal to 2 into 3.14 into radius is 5.5. So after calculating the value will be 34.56. So that will be stored in area as well as circumference. Now you are going to print the value. So this area is printed here. You can This area is printed here. You can see here area, see out area. This area is printed here. This area is nothing but the variable. It is a variable. So whatever it's there inside the variable that will be printed here. Next is a see out statement circumference. This circumference is printed here. Next circum. This is a variable. The value that is stored in the variable that will be printed here. So 34.56 is printed here. This is about the calculating the area as well as circumference. Thanks for watching this video. If you like this video, please like, comment if you have any doubts. Please share it. Please do subscribe my channel. Thank you.